Hello, my name is Dan and welcome. Welcome to my floor. Because today we are playing with uh, Nintendo Labo, which actually came out a while ago. So I'm extremely late to the party. But first up, Nintendo, thank you for sending me this. And this as well. These are the two Nintendo Labo kits that you can buy. This one has, I think, five things in it, which is pretty cool. And this one has the one big beast. The robot kit. Now, I don't actually know what I'm gonna build today. But it's definitely not gonna be this one. <laughs> it takes between 180 and 240 minutes to build. That is it's like four hours. What? Impressive. But not today. So in this one, you can build an RC car, which is like a wiggling robot. You can build a fishing rod, a house, motorbike, or piano. Piano takes the longest, so I might save that for another one. So instead. We're gonna go fishing! Let's open this thing. Da -na -na -na. Okay, the game. Let's put that in, if I could get it open. So while I do get this open, if you don't know what Nintendo Labo is, it's basically a way for video games and cardboard to interact, to create, I guess kind of like robots that interact with these things, the Joy-Cons. So you can create awesome cardboard machines. Ugh. Whoa, you can update the controllers? That's insane. We would like to make, please. First, let's get a bit of practice. Okay. Welcome to Nintendo Labo! Let's start with some make practice. Hold the A button to go forward. Okay. Release the button to pause. That's cool. This is how you make the Joy-Con. Really? We're gonna make this first. Whoa. Okay. Uh, this actually seems pretty cool. I think this is the sheet that we need. And apparently you don't need like any tape or anything to bind it together. It just folds, which is cool. Oh, we literally just need this piece. It's so weird, but kind of awesome. Rotate the camera. Oh, nice. So it literally shows you how to, oh, that's cool. No way. Make sure it matches. It does. Oh, it's folding. This is, this might be going too fast. What do I do? Fold it. Yeah. <laughs> done it! Oh, you just literally need to fold all the folds. Is that it? And then we're done? Nintendo Labo is easy. We're getting some tab action in now. You wouldn't have a toy con without tabs. Show them respect. <laughs> oh, I think, yeah, I should have done. This is just broken off. Whoops, I have a taser now. <laughs> this folds here, this folds here, and then this folds here. I made it! Check it out! Da -na -na -na. Oh, we can pop this bit out too. There we go. The Joy-Con holder is complete. What does it do? Well, it holds the Joy-Con. Look, it's actually pretty neat. <laughs> I like that. We're all done practicing. Yes! Look at it dancing. Mine doesn't do that. It just dies. Oh my goodness, it's gonna, it's gonna take off. You know what Nintendo does really well is stuff like this. Just like the little finesse parts. This could just be an, a, a boring like side swipey manual type thing, but no. They make the Joy-Con launch into space. Okay, so I am gonna build the fishing rod. Why not start with the RC car, it says. No, no, fishing rod. This could have been a bad idea, but at least I've got a Joy-Con to hold. At least we've made something. Oh my goodness. Easy as that. <laughs> we need the blue sheets. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six blue sheets. Five steps, easy. I don't think I've said it yet, but um, after you complete them, then you can play games with them. I, all included in this set, it's cool. Make sure you've got the plastic parts. Got them. Let's make the main rods. Remove these five pieces from sheets A and B. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. A, B, C, D, E, and F. Nah, 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 nah. The rod is made out of three parts. Let's call the big one Reginald, the middle one Lucy, and the little one Baby Bonnie. Okay, if you like. Let's take care of Baby Bonnie first. <laughs> Baby Bonnie, I think. Okay, that's not so bad. So you literally just crease everything and then put it together. Do you reckon I could do it without instructions? I probably shouldn't try, to be honest. Oh my goodness, that was a bit too fast. How do I do that? Back up a little bit. Jeez, I think I got it. I think I've got it. Hey, I made an eyeglass. Oh, eyelet pieces. Got them. Done it. 
I've done it. I've got an eyelet. I think that's what the string goes through to make the fishing rod. Let's find out. Baby body's done! Yeah! And now we just do the same with the others. Okay, let's see how long it takes me to mess this up and get way too confident, right? So these just go like this. This folds into here, like so. Done. Not quite. Lucy is done! Now that Lucy's already, she can take care of Bonnie. What? What are they gonna do? Oh, make sure this tail is still folded over when you slot the pieces together. Oh, I see. I think, <laughs> I think I've done this wrong already. Oh no, wait, we're good, we're good. Yes! It's kind of like a gun, like a scope on a gun. Oh, that's cool and it doesn't come out because of that tab. Clever! Oh my goodness, what is this piece? This one here? Oh! Oh man, this bit's fiddly. The tiny little tab? I'm sure it's very important, but hey, there we go. Done it! Is this really gonna take like an hour and a half? Um, now I need to make Big Bonnie. Let's get folding. Don't give up. Just keep on folding. <laughs> oh, we're getting technical. We need to put this on here. Whoa. Done it! Oh, sweet. Oh, that looks, that looks easy. And you know what? It is actually that easy. That's crazy. And it's got like a little trigger thing in here. I think a Joy-Con goes in there. That's amazing. Big bro, oh, big bro Reginald is complete. Okay, things are going technical now. Reginald, this goes in here. Does it though? Does it? It does. It does. Oh my goodness. Reginald, it's like you were made to be put together like this. <laughs> it feels really strong. Wait a second, guys. I think we've just done it. Have we just done it? Yes. I have a sniper or a fishing rod, whichever one you want. Okay, now we need to put this part in here. Oh, I see. There's like tabs. More tabs. Yes. What? I can imagine it already. Well, that took longer than I thought. If you're feeling a bit tired, feel free to take a break. Whatever. What? No. You want me to come over there? Absolutely not. Let's go. Oh my goodness. 10 pieces, plus five, 15 pieces to this thing. So now you've seen the basics of Nintendo Labo, how about I build this thing and then we just play because this is gonna take a while. <laughs> I think I'm done. Guys, look, I'm proud of myself. This is actually insane. This even rolls round as well. No way, I'm so impressed by this. It's so well made and like, it feels so satisfying doing it. You're like, yes, I did it. There's loads more to go though. Guys, we've peaked. It's, I, I'm doing pretty well. I've got the, the C and then this is called the spool, which we're doing right now, which is, I don't even know. I think it's something to do with rolling uh, this up. It's getting me to tie knots. Tie a knot at both ends, leaving about this much string to spare. If you're having trouble, try asking someone to help. Oh. oh, big things happening guys. I'm threading, I don't know if you can see that. I'm threading the fishing rod. Goes through like this. I think we're super close to being done now. I got something. I don't know what it is, but I, I got something and it works. Look, I'm fishing. Time check that everything works. Make sure you have plenty of room so you're not gonna bump into anything. I'm good. Pull out the rod nice and long. Okay, that's as far as it goes. Yes, it does. I'm fishing, that's amazing. How smooth that feels with like elastic bands, string and cardboard. That's all it is, no glue, no nothing. Time to attach the Joy-Con. Okay, so this is gonna be awkward because I can't capture the gameplay because the tablet literally has to go inside here. So it's gonna cut off, so I'm gonna have to film it differently. But let's get these attached in. Let's go. So red one, which is right here, goes in there, like in here. There we go. And you can also use these as like tap instructions. I was using it on the TV, like right there, literally so I could just see it and capture it. But you can use this. It's literally like a, just a manual inside a Nintendo Switch, which is awesome. And then the blue one, Goes in the side. Okay. And it goes. Insert the Nintendo Switch in the front of the C and top it off with the hat. 
the top of the console should face right. So that means it should go in like, oh, this is awkward. So it should just go in like this, right? But how am I going to control the, the manual now? <laughs> Get the hat on. Look at that. Snug as a bug. The toy con fishing rod is ready. I did it, guys. Time to reel in some fish. Let's go. So I don't know if this is going to work like this, but this is how I'm going to have to play it. Rind the reel to start. No way. Wait, what? You can do it like this? I, I didn't even know how to play, by the way. Okay. We're going underwater. How do I catch me a juicy fish? Go on, buddy. Nibble it. Nibble it. You know you want to. Look how tasty this looks. Go! Yes! Got him! I got a mackerel! Yes! 47 centimeters! Okay, let's go back in. So you tip it down and reel it up. Exactly like it is in the game of the orange string. And then reel it backwards to go down. Can we catch like a shark or something? That would be insane. What is a stingray? Stingray would be sweet. Yeah, I want a stingray. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. No, not you. Not you. No, get off. I don't want you. Oh my goodness, look at these fish. They're absolutely massive. Go on. Yes. Got him. Let's go. Let's go. I don't even know how to play this game, but I'm doing pretty well. Come on. Reel it in. Reel it in. Other way. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. What did I get? What did I get? I got myself a sea brain. Let's go. Woo. Get way too into this. What else can we catch? I'm going back in. I want to go all the way down and see. Oh, stingray. 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 Look how tasty this nothing is. No, get off, please, sir. I don't want you. I know you're nice enough, probably, but. Oh, a shipwreck swordfish. Let's grab this swordfish. Where is it? Come here, buddy. No, not you. I don't even know what you are. Yes. I'm gonna take you anyway. You look massive. Oh jeez. So you can go left and right. You can also reel it in. I don't know whether it snaps. Turns out it does. It does snap. Great. We are in the deep, dark depths. We've hit the bottom of the ocean where there are some big fish. What is that? I've got it. I don't know what it is, but I've got it. Come through, buddy. Come through. I'm gonna try and capture you. I think I need to like resist where it's trying to pull. Oh no, look. No, 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 don't do that. It's vibrating at the same time. So if it gets to breaking point, you have to just be super careful and pull it the right way. No! This is hard. It's harder than it looks, okay? What else can I get down here? We've got swordfish. I think I saw a shark. Oh, I've got a stingray. Yes, let's go. Maybe we need to be just a little more careful. Just be a little slower. Look at its face. <laughs> no, come this way. Come this way. No, you don't need to snap it. Don't snap it. He snapped it. This game is hard, okay? Very difficult. I haven't, I haven't been fishing in a long, long time. So I have no idea how on earth this works. Do I have to go where? Oh, oh, nibbles. Nibbles, I'll take it. What is this? Do you have to go against the fish or towards the fish? I'm not actually too sure. It's looking okay at the minute though. No, buddy, no, you need to release the tension. Release the tension. He snapped it again. What is wrong with you? And probably what's wrong with me, to be honest. You can actually feel the tension in the rod because it's got the spool on there and you've got like the vibrations and stuff, it really feels like you've got a fish on the end. It's crazy. Don't snap now. Do not snap now. No! I don't like this game. I should have built the piano. Oh, I got something. No! <laughs> it broke just before it got to the surface. Oh my goodness, I suck. I will catch you. This is how you do it, right? You just keep on going. Until it comes to the surface. Ah! Mackerel. That's how you do it. Apologies if this is super loud, by the way. It's got like a clicker in it. Wait, that's 5.5. Oh, no. That was in total. Okay, this is my scoreboard. I got a D. A D. And a, and a D. Um, wow, one of them was 3.7, though. 
not so bad, eh? And then you can just try over and over again. I mean, it's pretty cool. I would assume something like the piano, which has a way longer build time, is a lot more rewarding because you don't just play one single mini game. But to be honest, I'm incredibly impressed with this. The build quality is, you could squeeze this. I'm squeezing this with all my might right now and it doesn't bend at all. It's built so well. This, as a mechanic, works incredibly well as well. It's smooth, it's well built. I think it took me about an hour to do and it suggested uh, 90 to 150 minutes. So I did it quicker than it was supposed to be. Cause to be honest, most of it's just folding and stuff anyway, but so that's the beauty of it. No glue, no sticky tape, no nothing and you, you get to make yourself a fully functioning mini game. I like it. And if you guys like it too and enjoyed this video, please do a big fat thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. I really hope you could see everything properly. It's really hard to record a Nintendo Switch when it hasn't got an HDMI out. Yeah. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. If you did, a big fat thumbs up. be greatly appreciated. Uh, also, leave a thumbs up, a big fat like if you want to see me either build the piano or the robot or anything else. Do another Nintendo Labo video. I think it'll be pretty fun. So if you want to see that, leave a like. Subscribe if you are brand new for daily videos and to join Team TDN today. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me and building this with me today. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.